In this video, you are going to learn to create swoon-worthy images with amazing blur and bokeh in the background. And make sure you hit subscribe and the bell so you don't miss any newborn photography tips. If we haven't met, I'm Lisa from Milk and Honey Photography and the Milky Way. And I don't know about you, but I know that when I was getting started with newborn photography, one of my biggest lessons that, that when I got it right, it made everything click, was bokeh. And bokeh is actually the blur. And when I got my camera in the beginning, I got a Nikon D90, which I loved, but I also got a kit lens. And my kit lens was a zoom lens with an aperture of 5.6. Now with newborn photography, the images that you see and all the images that you see of mine are all shot around f2, f1.8, and sometimes wide open. With a lens like a 5.6 aperture lens, you are not going to get that same depth of field and blur in the background you would if you had a lens that went to a wider open aperture. I'm going to show you some images and we're going to talk through them. This image here is an image that I shot at completely wide open. You can see with the depth of field that I've got some beautiful blur behind the doll. The next image I increase my f-stop and you can see that the baby is a little bit more in focus. The last image I have stopped way up and you can see that I no longer have that dreamy background blur. What that means is that when you're shopping for a lens you don't have to break the bank. There's some wonderful options that are out there. I would suggest a 50 millimeter to get you started. It's sort of the universal newborn portrait lens and having the ability to go down to 1.8 or f2 and trying it there. You're going to notice that the closer you are to the baby with, when you're wide open, you may not get all the facial features in focus. I would suggest backing up, making sure the eyelashes are on the same focal plane, which means the same distance away from the camera. So they're even away from the camera and you're going to be able to get both eyes in focus. So if you want to have those dreamy, yummy backgrounds, you're going to need a lens that is, has the ability to go down to at least f2, f1.8, and I know that you'll be able to get some great results from that. So don't forget to hit the bell, give it a like, and share with a friend because you don't want to miss out on these weekly tips and tricks to help you improve your newborn photography. If you have an idea for a video, hit us up in the comments below. Let us know what you'd love to see. And I hope you'd love this video. I can't wait to see you next time. Thanks for stopping by.